Let's go to Sarah in Jacksonville, Florida. What's up, Sarah? How we doing? Hi, I'm good. You're good? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good, too. Fantastic. So what's up? How can I help? Um, so I had a baby about four months ago. Congratulations. And I'm just, thank you. And I'm just wondering how to, I guess, get my husband and I on the same, I guess, parenting page. <laughs> um, <laughs> he, so, I, want him so, to, I want him to be a little bit more hands-on than he is gotcha. and to enjoy it, I guess. Gotcha. When I can tell he doesn't enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot here, huh? A bit, yeah. Yeah, it sounds like it. Um, how was your marriage before you got pregnant? Um, pretty good. I mean, we we waited a long time, okay. um, purposefully. Um, how long have y'all been married? I think that ten years today, actually. <laughs> okay, so yeah. This thing that was going to be the greatest thing that ever happened to you and it's going to change your life and you're going to find love that you didn't even know existed has basically ruined your husband's life. Uh, I think, yeah, pretty much. Yes. <laughs> and then he feels guilty for even thinking that and you get mad for him even thinking that, but your life's kind of ruined too. And, but you love him and you love the baby and now we just got a big mess. Um, kind of, I guess. Tell me where um, I'm off. It, um... Sometimes it's great, and then um, sometimes, like, basically when the baby's happy, everyone's happy. Uh, and fortunately, he's a pretty happy baby, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> but when he's a baby and he is overwhelmed or um, hungry or He's just a whatever, baby. Yeah. He's for, a baby. Yeah, yeah he's four he's months old, so yeah. he's going to cry. He's going to be needy. He's going to want to be held. Because he's a baby. Because <laughs> right? he's a baby, exactly. Yes. Um, or like he spits up a lot. Because he's a and, um, baby. Because he's a baby. Exactly. He's yes. a baby. And he, like, I get, I was telling my husband, I'm like, I get spit up on multiple times a day. I basically live in spit up. That's, I mean, and it's disgusting. He, you kind of ruined the podcast today. Thanks for that. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> well, I mean, again, it's normal. He, he you burp him, he spits up. And right. sometimes the burp cloth is not in the right spot. And when you're by yourself, you can't put it in the right spot. Yes. But, um, but. So what, when you say your husband, like, uh, what is he doing? Um, so I guess, for example, he hasn't done this in a while, but that's because I'm, I'm a confrontational person and I confronted him about it. Good for you. Um, but, um, he was, he got a new set of pajamas. He got spit up on the night that he got them and he got mad. Like he. Like as though like, the baby did this on purpose. Yeah. Like it was purposeful. <laughs> and he, he gets upset because the baby will cry with him or not me or like he'll go to sleep for me, but not him. That's because but, you're a mom and he's been plugged into you for a year now. <laughs> yeah. That's so kind of, I explained it, that. And is he sensitive? I was frustrated with or is he, is his, is his picture of what this was going to be just way off? I think it's a little bit of both. Okay. Um, he doesn't think he's as sensitive as he is. <laughs> <laughs> I know he's very sensitive. No man does, um, right? No man does. <laughs> Well, it doesn't help that he's actually, he's a Marine. Okay. Um, and so he, and then the way he grew up, it was kind of like, you're not allowed to have feelings. And mm. um, I don't want that for our son. Right. And I told him that. I told him that last night, actually, um, when I was giving him resources on how we can deal with, um, like, tantrums come toddler stage. Cause yeah. Feels like it's fast approaching, um, even though he's only four months old. But um, I kind of, I was like, he's allowed to cry. He's guys have feelings, and I don't want him to be one of those men that only ever feels rage because they can't identify their feelings. Right. Good for you. What did he say to that? Um, <laughs> he tried to kind. He got defensive. Okay. He kind of tried to be like, well, men don't have feelings kind of thing. And like, boys don't cry. And I was like, you, I, I pointed out to him. I was like, you don't know how to 
have feelings other than anger. Right. And, and we joke all the time that he only has one feeling. Yeah. Like when people say like, Oh, you've hurt my feelings or like hit me right in the feels. We joke. He has one. Yeah. <laughs> and so, I'm pretty good at hitting that feeling. <laughs> we can look around at the suicide rates and the heart attack rates and the stroke rates and the cancer uh-huh. rates of men. And we can golf mm-hmm. clap for all of us. We won. We got, we got rid of the feelings. <laughs> And yeah, our bodies exactly. paid a price. They're paying a yeah. price. We're dying. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but you know that. I, that's yeah. If he calls me, we, we can have that conversation. I won't. I won't get all fired up f- this morning on that. Um, so there's two things at play here. Number one, you can really focus on the best parts of somebody and mm-hmm. just kind of roll off the other stuff until you bring kids in because then a kid's a walking, it's a mirror for both of you. And yeah. now you're talking about what are we going to, how are we going to connect? And that's not, that part's not going. So yeah. there is part of your husband's story that I want to give to him. You've put up with stuff for a decade. You've known this about him for mm-hmm. 10 years and yeah. it's yeah. just been part of it. And y'all have even turned it into jokes into laughs and it's probably reared its head a few times. And you said not anymore. And he's been like, cool. And what, and now it all becomes real, real, right? Yeah. So some of that, as part of the conversation, you're going to have to own, I've put up with this for 10 years and this ends. Yeah. Okay. Um, the second mm-hmm. thing is, is I want to honor the fact that you've got a strong, feeling-free man who's doing the best he can with the limited mm-hmm. set of tools. And this sounds yeah. ridiculous. The word that I always use over and over, especially with military veterans, especially with first responders who have, who as part of their training, takes their feelings and puts them in a box because their feelings will get them and other people killed, right? Yeah. And yeah. so those things that work on the battlefield destroy homes and they destroy neighborhoods and they destroy mm-hmm. like uh, cultures because you've got to use, you know, you don't, Get a screw out with a hammer. You got to use different tools for different things. So yeah. he's going to have to practice mm-hmm. what this looks like. And you, as his partner for a decade now, are going to be the person who's going to help walk him through this. So mm-hmm. here's a couple of things we can walk through. Sounds like he's missing his old life. Is there some of that? Or does it sound like or yeah, I think he faced with something he can't control? Are. Okay. We both kind of are. It doesn't help that he was gone for basically the entire pregnancy. Yep. Um, he was in a training okay. and um, it was just the way the timing went. It's so funny because we actually planned to have kids when he would be home. And we had a miscarriage in March, like right as the lockdown started in 2020. Mm-hmm. And then um, by the time we were ready to try again, he he got selected for something important. And I I had already known like in my gut it was going to happen this yeah, way. Right. <laughs> kind of like... You have plans, but God's plans are better. Right. So, <laughs> so you've had a year to adjust to this. And I'm not giving him a pass. Yeah. You've had a year. Um, the baby yeah. is a part of you. And, and when he was, your husband was gone, this baby in some ways, yeah, I mean, y'all are super tight, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so I don't want to give him a, he's got to grow, your husband's got to grow up. Baby's, yeah. Yeah. Babies crap everywhere. They barf everywhere. They scream. I mean, they're babies. Mm-hmm. Right. And I do have to give him a lot of credit because I, I was induced um, due to like preeclampsia and had to have an emergency C section mm. after pushing for three hours. Yeah. And um, so I was really out of it for the first basically six weeks. Yes. If not more. And so he was, he did a lot. He He's awesome. changed more diapers than me. He's done more, I guess, carrying huh. of a lot of things than I have. And we moved three weeks after I gave birth on top of it. Good gosh. So, so he's a, he's a pretty great human being, right? Oh yeah. He's, he's great. He's a great husband. I think he has the potential to be a great father. I just have to, I've just been having to push him a little bit more than I thought I would. Okay. So here's what I want you to do. Okay. First mm-hmm. thing is I want y'all to get somebody. Are y'all, do y'all, do you live on base or you live in your own place? Yeah. Okay. We're on base. I want you to get somebody to come watch your baby one morning and y'all go out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you've heard me say this a thousand times. I'll say it a thousand more times. Mm-hmm. I want you to take a, 
like a spiral notebook or a, a notebook of some sort, but get online and buy some obnoxious, fancy one, whatever it is. And I want you guys to write down what parts of your old life you miss. I want you to have a grieving breakfast together. Mm -hmm. What was? We mm -hmm. used to be able to do this. And you go first, and you're practicing this. You go first. We used to be mm -hmm. able to stay up all night and drink all night and dance all night. And we used to be able to just hop up and take off and do this. And what, what can we not do now? Mm -hmm. What is different about our relationship? And what is about this old life that we loved? What are some things about the old life we didn't love, but here's where we are. And then you're going to spend some time saying, what could this look like? Mm -hmm. And here's where that's important. You've got to get your husband who for, mm -hmm. how long has he, is, has he been in for, for 10 years? Uh, he's been in for almost 15 or 16 years. Okay. So he has been wired yeah. to see challenges as a mission and accomplish that mission. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. you can't accomplish fatherhood. It's a mm -hmm. relationship. Mm -hmm. And this is new. Yeah. And I kind of, I guess when it, all of this kind of initially came to a head, I kind of, I told him that I was like, cause he doesn't really have his relationship with his family is, uh, how are you doing? Great. Of course, Good. he's got, he's got no model for this. Yeah, he's never seen no, this done. He's no. never seen it done. And that's that's why you got to practice. I kind of told him, I was like, I don't want that for you guys. Yes. And so here, here's where that becomes important. I want you to, uh -huh. when you're talking about the things that you're excited about this new chapter, because your old life is over. And the quicker y'all mm -hmm. realize that, the quicker mm -hmm. you can be about building something new. Your new life is, I yeah. mean, your old life is over for better or yeah. worse. And now here we are. And so mm -hmm. you can say, what do we, what do we want this to look like? Okay. So he has a model of a dad who treated him X, Y, or Z, or a mom who treated him X, Y, or Z. And now this yeah. is the result is their current relationship. Yeah. And exactly. so that means we're going to have to do things different. So, um, reverse engineering all the way back to your dad never, ever hugged you. Your dad never yeah. held you. Your dad didn't take you to the store or get gas with him. Your dad didn't take, make the, the trip to the gas station 10 times longer just so you mm -hmm. could practice getting gas. Like, you didn't know these things. That's mm -hmm. what we're going to do. What could we do to get this picture that's going to be different then? And you see those dads on base when they see their sons, and, man, nothing gets me choked up like a hardcore Marine all decked out whose dad shows up and both of them end up like slobbering, crying because they mm -hmm. love mm -hmm. each other. And you see them on base. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah, I do. And then you see the ones that show up and there's this weird stoic, they shake hands. Like, to, mm -hmm. like, like when they're dropping their kid off or they're, you know, helping them move, they shake hands like they've just completed a transaction. Yeah. yeah. Like, goodbye, son. Goodbye, dad. And they shake hands like, thanks for the car. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the money. Hug your kid, right? So you're going to yeah. have to practice these things and you're going to have to come up with some sort of language with him, which is yeah. I'm not going to call it out during a fight. That's a terrible thing. But mm -hmm. I want to have some language where I can say, will you hold the baby? And you'll say on it because you're going to practice mm -hmm. relationship. Like what's going yeah. on? What's wrong? Nothing. I just want you to hold him just because. And over mm -hmm. time, he will go. Whew. Now I sit on the couch. I don't like sitting on the couch by myself anymore. Now I want to be under a pile of kids and that's weird for me, but I've been practicing for a long time. Okay. Yeah. And I want you to know he can get there. Not a mission. It's a relationship. This whole thing is new, new, new. The thing about going out to breakfast is it is not, um, I'm trying to think of a military analogy in the middle of battle is not the time. It's not the time to talk yeah. strategy to, yeah redo your game plan. You're in it. Mm -hmm. You do that when you're not at war and a nice breakfast, a good going out to lunch together. That's not war. Mm -hmm. And you going first keeps it from being war. Like, here's the things I yeah. miss. All right. Mm -hmm. How does that sound? Um, it sounds good. I just, um, I guess I'm trying to think of like a when, cause we're, we're going home next not this coming week, but the following week, we're going back to where we're from. It's going to be, it's literally like a cross country trip. So, Hey, this, um, that could be a incredible time to talk. 
Yeah. You're going to be yeah. together. If you do the work mm-hmm. now and come up with 100 mm-hmm. questions or 50 questions or mm-hmm. – and they're not – how are you going to be the guy who hugs all the time? How are you? No, it's paint me a picture of what you would like. If you're dropping your kid off at college, what would you want that to look like? Like, do you want to hug him when you drop? like paint that picture and just reverse engineer it? Imagine dropping your kid off to be a Marine. Maybe he wants his kids to go to the service too. Maybe, um, like, what do you want that to look like? You want to be one of those dads that hugs? You want to be one of those dads that handshakes or one of those that does the weird side pat? Like what kind, what do you want to be? Right? And let's reverse engineer that. How do we get there now? What's the most frustrating thing about having a kid? What's the, what's the, your favorite part about having a new kid? And here's the thing. When you ask those questions, he's not going to admit it, but those are feelings. What's my favorite thing about having a kid? Huh? I like it when he just looks up at me and smiles. What's the worst thing? When he likes you more than me? Well, yeah, he's, he, your husband's got to grow up on that one, dude. That just happens. That's life. Right, And then that will slowly start to shift. And then you'll get mad that he likes your dad, husband more. And you'll say things like, I carried you nine months. And all that kind of stuff will come up too, right? But the thing is, is to pull the air out of this balloon because it's going to burst at some point. Let the air out. Y'all are practicing. You're working. He's doing something he's never seen done before. And that's cool. And that's scary. And that's terrifying. And all those things together. Thank you for your service as a military wife. Thank him for his service for, man... 15 years of putting it, putting it himself in harm's way on my behalf and my family's behalf. I'm grateful for you. Y'all can do this. Spend this, spend this season cross country driving and talking. And for the first time, maybe feeling something. 